Good evening, Eleni Roussos with ABC News. The federal government has declared Darwin the front line in its response to asylum seekers arriving by boat. Tony Abbott joined the Immigration Minister to announce millions of dollars in funding for specialist police in the top end, as well as a pep talk for the troops taking part in Operation Sovereign Borders. Mark De Stefano reports. It was an early morning hit out with the troops. Morning, Jim. Morning, how are you, Jim? Then a look behind the curtain of Operation Sovereign Borders. And part of plans to bolster the policy, there was nearly $50 million recommitted for a specialist police force of 94 in the top end. The Northern Territory and Darwin in particular plays a very central role. This has become, over time, a, a, a cornerstone of our onshore operations. Onshore detention centres have recently been on the chopping block but there's hints Darwin's four centres will be spared from cuts. All of those centres that are here in Darwin, uh, but that commitment through that MOU, I think indicates very strongly uh, that there will continue to be a detention footprint here in, in Darwin. The government had also come to break bread with the men and women of Operation Sovereign Borders, acknowledging the recent scandals of the on-water campaign. Uh, again, thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Uh, I dare say at times it's been incredibly stressful. Uh, certainly I know it's been dangerous. It's a tough job that we've asked you to do, but do it you've done. And I know you'll keep doing it because the job is not yet done completely. The Prime Minister sat amongst the troops for lunch at those of Operation Sovereign Borders asking for personal tales of their times at sea. It's government's vision of Australia's beefed-up northern border. Mark De Stefano, ABC News, Darwin.